What's going on guys? This is Ozzy Van Man. And you're probably wondering why I'm sitting at the back of my uh, van right now. Well, I got everything sort of torn out right now because we're doing a bit of an upgrade to my van right now. Um, it's the same day I'm installing the uh, diesel heater here. I'm still in, midway through the diesel heater, but I've hit a wall where I'm gonna have to go to town and get some parts. Um, so we're doing the rest of the installs that I'm doing today. And today, well, if I'm gonna have a diesel heater and I'm gonna, in by winter, I'm hoping to add a, a 12 volt uh, mini split, I'm gonna need more juice, guys. I need more power. So today we've actually been sent a product and I'm really excited about this because this is gonna add to my battery bank. Uh, as you guys may be aware, if you've watched all the videos, I have right here, that's my 300 amp hour lithium battery. Well, today we're gonna make it 400 amp hours. We're gonna be adding on another 100 amp hour battery. But this is a special new battery from Go KWH. And we're gonna have a look at this one, see what uh, what's new, what's going on with it. All right, here's the box right here, guys. Let's pull it out. I did cut the uh, top open because I wanted to see what size these uh, screws were that I need to mount with them because I'm likely gonna have to get some longer ones with all the uh, adaptions that I'm putting on. All right, use the manual. That's what we got right there. 12 volt, 100 amp hour, but there's something else to it. Okay, there's the battery down there. Let's get it out and put it on the table. All right, there it is, guys, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, 1,280 watt hour lithium. But there is something special about this. If we look, other than the handle, that's kind of cool because my other battery didn't have that handle. Yes, you might see something on the top here. That is a battery capacity voltage meter on the top here. And I guess you can play with it and set the feet, set, uh, change the settings on it. There's the power button. I don't know if I need to be hooked up to power it or if it just powers straight off the battery. Let's take a look. Okay, there it is. It's been sitting in my van for about a week and then I had to travel from China. Oh, it has a timer before it turns off. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Okay, what do we got? 13.2 volts, 73%. Okay, pretty cool. Now, now it'll be interesting to see um, what it does when it's hooked up to a battery bank to another battery, whether it's gonna do an overall percentage of all of them or just its own one, I'm not too sure. I do have a voltage meter in the front cab, so I will know what my whole system is doing as a whole. So this should be interesting, guys. But first, I need to create the hardware to be able to hook this up to the system. And I gotta disconnect all my breakers and turn them all off. So let's get a, go ahead and do that first. All right, guys, so, fun times, fun times. We got the crimp right here. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I remember the, all the fun. This is a wire cutter here. I already cut some wires, but I need to I need to add these copper fittings to the end so they can be uh, attached to, uh, yeah, anyway. Probably got larger fittings than I needed. <laughs> I thought I needed really big ones, but these are actually probably a size too big, but I should be able to make them work still. So we want to, uh, Cut this plastic on the outside without trying to cut too much of the uh, actual cable. Oh, this thing needs sharpening, it's getting blunt. Used to cut through this thing like butter, I used to have to watch out what I was doing. Still cuts through pretty easy, it's just not as sharp as it once was. So we're gonna have to finish the job with this. Just cause I don't wanna cut any of that wire so we'll get the last of that plastic like that hopefully that yep there we go there we go i did cut a little bit of that but that's all right now i grab this twist some of those loose ones will come off so 
grab those and throw them away. Okay, now, this is much easier because I have a much larger one. I think I didn't need such a large one, but, uh, oh well, got it now. All right, so I got the other end off. Um, we're all good on that. Now, I'm just gonna put another one of these on. We should be all good on that. These aren't perfect. I, I may make some new cables in the future, but for now, for the next couple of weeks, this should get me through fine. All right, I'm just gonna cover these ends in electrical tape so no water, dust, and grime gets in there. That's one. We'll just tape this end up, but that's one. We just need a ground one now. All right, guys, two cables done. Red and black. So we're ready to hook it up. We just gotta pull off these connections and uh, we'll get to it. All right, guys, so I'm sure it looks like a bit of a mess here and it probably is. All right, guys, I almost had a whoopsie. Uh, almost actually connected them to the wrong uh, points. I got them confused, I uh, wasn't paying attention. I did arc it a little bit, but we have it switched around to the right points now. There you go, there's a mess of cables under there. I need to do some dusting apparently. Quite a bit of dust in here. But let's flick this on now, they're all hooked up. Saying 13.4 now, so it was saying 13.2. So it has a combined uh, voltage meter there of both batteries hooked up together. And we are getting 13.2, I mean 13.4. 13.4 volts, so it does work as a battery bank as well. What does the percentage say? I wanna, I'm just curious. It's now saying 77%. Now it's jumped from 73 to 77. Very nice, guys. All right, guys. We now have 400 amp hours in there. All right. So let's just to double check, make sure we're getting power to my fridge and everything like that. Yep. Look at that, 37 tamp on there. It's been off for a little while. So it'll cycle on in a second. 13.5, it's coming up as on the voltage meter here, hard to see. Now it says 13.5 uh, is because I just hooked my solar back up. So it's currently putting voltage back into the system now. So uh, yeah, but yeah, we're, uh, we've got a whole 100 amp hours extra now, guys. Thanks to go K KWH. That should be enough, plenty enough to run my diesel heater. Not sure about AC though. I was hoping to get uh, up to 600 amp hours to uh, run my 12 volt uh, AC when I end up getting that. So we may have to buy another battery in the future. So if you look into the manual here, you can actually see it tells you, make sure you have your points tight down different ways here to connect them since i'm only connecting it to one other battery i'm hooking them up in parallel uh, this is the better way to go in a series but um i don't need to do that because i'm not hooking up more than one battery you can see here the dimensions of the battery we're looking at a 7.28 inches wide 13.19 uh, inches long and 8.46 inches tall now here we have the specs on the this is the one we have here uh the 100 amp hour so there's the dimensions again uh, it's made of flame retardant plastic has a five-year warranty guys that's pretty good that's half the life of the battery these things should last up to 10 years um okay 12.8 volt uh 100 amp hours, 1280 watt hours, uh, recommended charge voltage 14.6 is which uh, what I actually have mine set to, uh, charge current 50 amps, Dis, uh, yeah, cut off 10 volt, which I think mine's actually set higher than that because I don't want to damage my batteries. You can drain them all the way down, but it gets to a point where they're not pushing out enough electricity for your system. Cycle life, here we are. 4,000 cycles, service life 10 years, just like I said. IP65 built-in BMS protection. And here's your temperatures, parallel and series. 
All right, guys, I'm pretty happy now. I've got an extra 100 amp hours to my system, especially now I'm putting in that uh, diesel heater. That's going to uh, definitely help me out a lot. Um, I was worried because uh, on those rainy days and those cold days, sometimes the sun's in that. I'm not getting a lot of sun. I'm stuck inside because it's cold or rainy. And I play PlayStation a lot. It really, I have drained my system, my 300 amp hour battery. I've drained it probably three or four times now. Um, so having that extra 100 amp hours, it's really going to make a difference for me. But yeah. All right, guys. So if you would like to check out this uh, battery yourselves, uh, go KWH. All right, guys. Link in the description. Let me know um, below, guys. I'm actually interested in what you guys are running. Let me know what amp hours are you running? What brand of batteries are you running? Uh, or what are you looking at in installing? Let me know, guys, below. All right, guys, until next time, this is Ozzy Van Man. And unless I uh, blow myself up with a diesel heater, we'll see you later. What's going on here?